In this video, I'd like to go over a modeling method that you can do in FreeCAD known as CSG modeling. This stands for Constructive Solid Geometry, uh, sometimes called Computational Binary Solid Geometry. And this is an older style of modeling that I have used a little bit in FreeCAD, but I haven't really sat down and explained. And uh, here I've made this model with uh, uh, CSG modeling, and I'd like to <clears throat> take you through the steps on how I did it in case anybody's wondering about this method. So the first thing that I'll do is uh, create, and this is from the part workbench, which is uh, more original to FreeCAD and uses or utilizes the CSG modeling method a lot more. I can create a cylinder and I simply cr just click the cylinder button and I can edit some of the attributes down here. I like to make this actually a 100 thou height or 0.1 inches radius rather, 0.1 inch radius and a uh, 1 inch height. And uh, maybe I can move this around a little bit. Uh, as you can see we've got a nice little triad to, to make movements on this. So if I translate this 0.25 inches then two notches down should put me right on the uh, origin. Next I can create another one of these and let's do the, uh, let's do the same thing. Well, first off, here, I'll do a radius of uh, 100 thou, or 0.1 inches. We'll give this a height of 1 inch. And now I can move this simply by double-clicking on it in the history tree. And move this over here. And two notches that way. And there we have sort of a, I don't know, a round plus sign of cylinders. It's important to note that this is a body that intersects with this as a body, but these are two separate things, even though that they overlap. Right? This is how we think about CSG. We're overlapping two bodies. They're not merged into one body. They're two separate things that share the same space. Uh, I'm going to create another cylinder, and on this one we're going to give it the same thing, uh, 100 thou, and we'll give this a height of uh, one inch, rather, and then I can move this around to you know 90 degrees over here and two movements there we go so we've got this almost little triad and uh, FreeCAD documentation as well as Wikipedia both give the same example um, what we'd like to do in fact I'm going to up this a little bit I'm going to make each of these point two so you can see this um, this is parametric just like anything else you do in FreeCAD so we're going to make these all 0.2. That looks a lot better. Now we, we have these three separate things that we may want to make one body. To do that, we can do a union, um, or we can call this a, uh, a Boolean operation. Uh, we highlight all three using the control key. And we make a union of these shapes. And now you can see we have sharp edges because this has become fused into one, right? We've made taken three bodies, fused them into one. So I can hide this now. And let's focus on another uh, thing to do. Uh, you can see how this uh, cube has come in. And we can change this to uh, half an inch here, half an inch here. Right, so a 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.5 cube. And I can double click this and move this one notch this way one down, one down, and now this cube is central to everything. <clears throat> so I can hide this body. And then let's add in a, uh, a sphere. And the sphere is too small to see, so we can give this a radius of a 0.35. And there we go, right? So we've got a sphere in our cube. And the next thing that you can do in FreeCAD <clears throat> is an intersect. I can say I want to keep only material where these two bodies are intersecting with one another and if it's only cube or only sphere let's get rid of that and keep only the space where cube intersects with sphere. So I highlight both again holding the control key down and I can say make an intersection and this is uh, the point uh, where only these cubes or the, these, uh, the cube and the sphere intersect with each other. Next thing I can do is I can uh, take my other shape 
And let's say I just want to have empty space where this body goes. For that you have to do what's called a subtract. And depending on your platform it can be a cut or a subtract or something like that. But uh, the order in which I select these is very important. I select the body that I want to have my shape subtracted from first. And then second I select my subtracting body. And so I, uh, I chose this first, this second, and then uh, I can do a little uh, subtract, make a cut of two shapes right there, and there we end up with a cool little model. Uh, and again, this is not feature-based modeling uh, like I normally do on this channel, but this is uh, important to understand and maybe change your thinking about uh, because sometimes in CAD you, you have to do something like this. So what we've covered is taking multiple bodies and combining them into one. Then we've uh, talked about an intersection. And then we finally talked about a subtraction. Uh, so this is again called constructive solid geometry. I hope this has been helpful. If it was, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.